how to add fonts to Adobe Illustrator. Good day, folks, and welcome to the channel. I'm going to show you two ways that you can add fonts to Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump straight in. First of all, I'm going to show you how you can take fonts that are not currently in Adobe Illustrator, but are on the Adobe Fonts App Store. We can go ahead now over to the Creative Cloud. And if this app is not installed on your device, you can go ahead and install it by going to adobe.com forward slash creative cloud and you'll be able to download it straight from there so right over here in the creative cloud on the left hand side you have some tools in the toolbar and you can scroll down and you can see that there is a manage fonts item over here so once you tap on that you can see all of the fonts that you've actually added to your adobe app that's additional to the text or fonts that are already installed so you can see over here that i've installed three items you can now go over to the right hand side and you can tap on browse more fonts now once you tap on browse more fonts you'll actually be thrown into fonts.adobe.com now this is adobe's font store you can go now and you can search for a font that you would like so let's say for example we want to go ahead and we want um we want this weird looking one over here that's a p22 frenzy and once you tap on that you will be taken into the actual font now this p22 frenzy is actually a group of fonts so you can see over here that there are a few different items in this particular one there is only one font but generally these fonts actually have larger groups or families as they call it you can go now and you can see over here this is what the font looks like and you can tap on add font now once you tap on add font it'll be added to your creative cloud added font store over here and you can see that it here now we can go into illustrator so we're going to go over to the left hand side and tap on the text or the type button and you can just click down and you can now put in whatever it is that you would like to in your text box and we're going to just change the size so we can actually see what's going on here so you can see over here now you can change the style of the text and right now it's a myriad pro we're going to go ahead now and you can either look for the text that you actually downloaded or you can go in over here in this box and you can actually type it in so if you want to go back now you can see it says p22 frenzy going to illustrator we're going to go p22 frenzy and you can see over there that's what it actually is and there we go you've now successfully imported this text and you can now use it in adobe illustrator now there is a second way of doing so the process involves going to a third party or a website that offers text it'll either be um, paid or it can be a free website this is 1001 free fonts and all you have to do again is go ahead and look for the actual font that you'd like over here and we're going to go on the right hand side and it says download free for personal use now you click on download and what will happen is this file will now download in a zip folder so we're going to go over now to our downloads and you can see over here it is right over here so depending on what browser you're using it may look slightly different and in this step over here depending on what operating system you're using this will also look slightly different this is windows 11 and i'm using the browser google chrome so we now tap on extract all and you're gonna tap on extract and these files will now be extracted you can now see that this is what the file looks like and now once you go in here you will find a file that says open type font file or an otff so we're going to go ahead and double click that once you double click that the window comes up for you to actually install the font you're going to tap on install it'll take a few seconds to actually install and it is now installed we can now close this and you can go ahead back into illustrator and now you can use that drop down menu or you can go ahead and you can type that style in so that style is called elastina and we're going to go ahead and type it in you can see now that as i started typing it has come up you can tap on that and there is your font 
Now you have successfully added fonts to Adobe Illustrator in two different ways. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, folks, don't forget to drop us a like. Don't forget to subscribe to this very awesome channel. And we'll see you in another lovely video. <laughs> Cheers for now.